episode basically got in touch with Jonathan Industrial Projects to develop this new line. Um, essentially the old line that we have is becoming the bottleneck of the factory. Uh, we used to run three shifts on the old line whereas this line we're down to just a single day shift so there's been a dramatic increase in productivity. Since the commissioning of this line, um, it took us about three months till we were fully caught up with production and in the last two months we've actually decommissioned the old line and we're running the single line now which is much better from a scheduling point of view um, and also in terms of lean manufacturing so it's, it's a lot better. SCADA system for the powder coating plant. Uh, basically it's the crux of the whole plant and controls uh, every system upstairs and downstairs by the Nordson powder booth. Um, essentially it's divided into sections. Um, I can basically drill down into each, each section and pick out the details I want. Um, Everything is recorded in real time so all real time information of all the process variables. Uh, set points I can change from here. Basically, everything I want to change, I can view and change from here. So, uh, taking a closer look, you can see the overall system upstairs. So we have the pre-treatment plant up the top, as it is represented, with the four stages. Uh, Dry-off oven, and then curing oven. And then obviously downstairs we have a similar setup with the chemical tanks. And also the wastewater. So, if I, for example, wanted to change a process variable on the curing oven, such as a temperature or a fan speed or something like that, I can dive into the settings page um, and pick that particular item. So if we wanted to do the curing oven, I have all my set point temperatures, standby delay times, run on time, stuff like that. Um, and I can change it and it will all change instantly. Um, another good feature about the system is that I can have the system automatically start and warm up uh, each day. So uh, individual sections can be started and stopped uh, basically when I want to. So for example, if we're going to start up work on a Monday, uh, I need to start everything a little bit earlier to get it warmed up. I can set the times individually for each part to start, which is really good. Another great feature would be the trends. So all the data can be displayed on this screen, anything I want it to do. So for example, a temperature screen, so I have real-time temperature about our ovens, pre-treatment, stuff like that. It's all monitored from here, same with all the levels. So I have my level traces here and obviously you can see where systems are coming on and off. Um, I can go even further, I can go to individual tanks, so I can see where solenoids are opening and closing, stuff like that. And all that's changeable through the settings page as well, so it's very intuitive. Thank you. 